Hello students, this is class 7 science, chapter 3, fiber to fabric, lecture number 1. In this video, we will be covering topics number 1, fiber, different types of fiber. In our syllabus, we have to learn in depth about animal fibers, specifically wool and wool producing animals like sheep, yak, goat, angora goat, camel, llama and alpaca. You all know we wear clothes made from different raw materials which are obtained from plants as well as animals like cotton, jute, silk, wool, nylon, etc. Let us first of all reiterate few of the topics which we have already studied in 6th standard. Let's begin with what is fiber? The long, thin, thread-like strands are called fibers. The properties of the fibers depend upon the source they are obtained from. From our previous knowledge, we know different types of fibers are used in preparation of our clothes. They are natural fibers or man-made fibers. Natural fibers, they are again split into two types based upon their origin. One is plant-based origin, the second one is animal based origin whereas man made fibers are those which are prepared from chemicals to understand the types of fiber let us first go through some of the examples of fibers Number 1. Fibers of plant origin Cotton and jute Number 2. Fibers of animal origin Silk and wool Number 3. Man-made fibers or synthetic fibers Rayon, nylon and polyester As I have already mentioned in our syllabus this year, we will be learning basically about the animal fibers. They are wool and silk. So, wool and silk fibers are animal fibers. These fibers are used to prepare woolen and silken clothes. First of all, take up the topic wool. Wool comes from sheep, goat, yak and other animals. These wool yielding or wool producing animals bear hair on their body. Have you ever wondered? why these animals have a thick coat of hair. Let me tell you, hair trap a lot of air. Air is a poor conductor of heat. So, hair keeps these animals warm. Wool is derived from these hairy fibers. 
Here, let me tell you what are poor conductors. You know, a poor conductor means that the substance will not easily conduct or allow heat or electricity or both to pass through it. In the subsequent slides, we will be learning about the wool yielding animals one after another. Let us first of all take the first animal, sheep. Like us, the hairy skin of sheep has two types of fibers that form its fleece. Number one, the coarse beard hair number two the fine soft under hair close to the skin several breeds of sheep are found in different parts of our country however the fleece of sheep is not the only source of wool though wool commonly available in the market is sheep Wool. The second animal is yak. Yak wool is common in Tibet and Ladakh. From these pictures, you can see yak do have long hair. The third wool yielding animal is goat. Wool is also obtained from goat hair. The under fur of Kashmiri goat is soft. It is woven into fine shawls called Pashmina shawls. Let us now talk about Angora goat. Angora wool is obtained from Angora goats. They are found in hilly regions such as Jammu and Kashmir. Camel is the next wool yielding animal. The fur or hair on the body of camels is also used as wool. In these pictures, you can clearly see people are shearing off the fleece from the camel's body. Along with these animals, llama and alpaca are also wool yielding animals. Llama and alpaca are found in South America. They also produce or yield wool. After learning about different different wool producing animals. Now let us have a look at some Indian breeds of sheep. In our country we have different different breeds of sheep. They all produce different quality of wool and they are found in different different states as per their adaptability. The first breed is Lohi. It yields good quality wool and are commonly found in Rajasthan and Punjab. Rampur Bushair is the second breed. It produces brown fleece. 
and we can trace them in Uttar Pradesh as well as Himachal Pradesh. The third breed is Nali. The quality of wool which they produce is used to prepare carpet, hence commonly known as carpet wool. They are found in the states of Rajasthan, Haryana and Punjab. Bakarwal is another breed of sheep. The wool produced by these sheep are used for woolen shawls and are commonly found in Jammu and Kashmir. The fifth breed is Marwari. The quality of wool they produce is known as coarse wool and they are found in the state of Gujarat. Sixth and the last breed which is in our syllabus is Patanwadi. The wool which they produce is used for hosiery and these ship are also found in Gujarat. At this, we come to an end of lecture number one. It's time for me to assign few questions to you as homework. Multiple choice questions. Question number one. Which of these is not a natural fiber? Option A. Wool. Option B. Silk. Option C. Rayon Option D. Jute Question number 2 Yak wool is common in Option A. Punjab Option B. Ladakh Option C. Kerala and Option D. Gujarat Question number 3. In this question, two blanks are given. As per requirement, we will be required to fit the correct words. Question number 3. Wool is a dash fiber, whereas nylon is a dash fiber. Question number 4. The hairy skin of the sheep has how many types of fibers? Question number 5. Answer in one word. Number 1. The goat from which pashmina wool is obtained. Number 2. The sheep from which carpet wool is obtained. Question number 6. How do the hair of certain animals help in keeping their bodies warm? Question number 7. 